New tonight in Eyewitness News exclusive, we've learned a Providence police officer was taken to a hospital after a carbon monoxide detector in his cruiser went off, warning the dangerous gas was building around him. This has been a recent problem in other police departments. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joining us live now with the details you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Kim? Well, Jared, that officer is okay thanks to that alert from that detector. And Providence police tell me today this is the first time that one of those CO detectors has gone off since they equipped their, uh, their fleet of SUVs with these detectors back in June. This little device warns of a big danger, carbon monoxide in the cabin of police cruisers. Providence Police Commander Thomas Verdi says one officer on patrol Saturday night learned the significance of these detectors firsthand. It actually went on and off, on and off, then he felt a little dizzy. It was around 8.30 when the detector plugged into the dash of the cruiser, flashed red and beeped, alerting that officer there was CO in his car. So he drove himself, was right around the corner, to the fire station. They examined him and felt he was best off going to the hospital. It was at the hospital that a test revealed low levels of CO in his bloodstream. The officer was treated, the SUV taken out of service. CO in cruisers has been a problem among several departments, including in Auburn, Massachusetts, where six officers were treated for carbon monoxide poisoning. Now departments like Warwick, Cranston, even the state police are taking precautions and installing these detectors too, despite not having any reports of carbon monoxide leaks. It's very uncommon in urban city police departments because we're in and out of the vehicle so often, but it has to do with the recirculation when the air conditioning is on. The $15 devices have been installed in 43 Providence Police SUVs. Verdi says it's a small price to pay to keep his officers safe. Thankfully, the one involved in Saturday's scare is okay. He's doing well, and hopefully we do not have any more incidents. And these Providence Police SUVs are manufactured by Ford. Verdi says they will be reaching out to the manufacturer this week. Now, Ford has previously said that they believe these carbon monoxide leaks are stemming from non-manufacturer equipment installations, but they have said that they will pay for the cost of repairs to these police vehicles. Reporting live in Providence, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.